I was uh, looking at this uh, bill online and I wanted to talk about it. Uh, the um, House bill here that uh, is being introduced uh, in the House of Representatives here and uh, this bill is um, HR 6666. And this bill again is to authorize Secretary of Health and Human Services to award grants to eligible entities to conduct diagnostic testing for COVID-19 and related activities such as contact tracing through mobile health units and as necessary at individuals' residence and for other purposes. Okay, so the other purposes sounds kind of very ominous. We are beginning a program today, and it's a pilot program, which will certainly grow into something larger and larger, and that is a community contact tracing program. We've done contact tracing all along. That a contact is a person who's been exposed to someone that we document to have the COVID infection. When we find someone who has a COVID infection, those people are immediately isolated. And now the reason why I'm telling you why we were here based on your interactions, we have some concerns for your well-being and your safety. What I'm here to let you know is that based on the concerns that were put forward yesterday with you issue what's called a form two. What that is to do, and this is, it directs me as being a police officer, that I'm to take both of you to St. Joseph's Hospital right now for an examination. No way. No way. It says testing and contact tracing using mobile health unit. So the mobile health unit will go into the community. This is what they mean. They mean they're going to come to your home and also to your facilities like your schools, your hospitals, and all these different places. This really is overreach. Unfortunately, I don't have that. We don't have that. You have no right. You have no right. You have no right to do that. You have no right. That's what this is for. I can let you know that's what I'm trying to say. It's a form for the Ministry of Health that's been backed by a provincial judge. We don't care. We don't care. Okay. That's neither here nor there if you care or not. This is my authorities and this is what I have to do. So I hope, I beg of you to come cooperatively. No, I'm not. So you're not going to come cooperatively? So what is... You're not authority. Okay. Our oh God is authority. You cannot do this. That, I respect that for you. Unfortunately, my standpoint and my position is that I'm paid to enforce this. And it says, in general, the uh, Secretary of Health and Human Services, acting through the Director of Center of Disease Control and Prevention, may conduct diagnostic testing for COVID-19 to trace, monitor the contacts of infected individuals and to support the quarantine of such contacts through mobile health units and as necessary testing individuals and providing individuals with service related to their to, to testing and quarantine at their, their residence. Testing is important to them because they are compiling a DNA database that will be used as a part of the biometric identification system that will be set up as part of the B system. So they're going to come to your residence. They're going to come to your home. That's basically what's going to happen. Okay, this is my job. This, this is my job. This is my role. I have an obligation. Wow, you I took, you I took are, an oath you are really, to serve and protect. You are really and, I, and just to let you know, my, I'm here to protect you. The reason, the reason why just I want to take you there right, is us. to protect you guys to make sure that you're safe. Wow. So what happens is we go to St. Joseph's Hospital. You're hypocrite. You speak to the doctor. You're hypocrite. You speak to the doctor. You're hypocrite. Okay. I don't believe I am. That's your, that's your, that's your opinion. You're entitled to your opinion. You're evil. Okay. That's your opinion. You don't know forcefully me. Forcefully to take us to hospital. Well, Are I you don't kidding want, me? I don't want to do it forcefully. That's why I'm hoping that you'll assist me. That you'll well, leave and that's all. That's a that you'll, that you'll accompany me. That's a hypocrite. Why am I a hypocrite? But we also work with them to figure out who their contacts were. Luckily, because you have been doing such a great job of cooperating and staying indoors um, and staying isolated, it used to be 
there were 10 contacts at least for every patient that we would find now it looks like there are probably only two or three or four contacts not surprisingly because most people have been staying away from others and that's that's good news uh, but the purpose of this program is to bring on people we're going to start with 10 people we may bring on up to 50 or even more as the program grows and as we see the needs for it as we do more testing we will find more and more people who have COVID-19 and again we'll isolate every one of them and we will find every one of their contacts and we will make sure that they stay quarantined and we'll check in with them every day to make you go to the hospital. That's right. That's what these are. These are we don't care. Who, 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 who says this is us? So is what that... I'm asking is that you come cooperatively. No. Okay. No. Well, no. I would I would not I would rather not go hands on with you. I don't want to force you physically. Wow. This form got just that health worker. Okay, I'm not a police officer. This is an involuntary examination of hospital. What this means is it's not in the police discretion any longer or the health worker. This form is valid, signed off by a justice of the peace. They cannot walk away. It's involuntary examination, you people, you non examination. You people so what we're asking is we're see. asking for you know I mean cooperation. You're going to go down, you're going to be seen at the hospital, and you're going to meet with the doctor. That is what that form you says. Are see. So, your like the officers is asking today, we would really this, like to This is intrusion. This is, we don't, this is we're not, this is a we're not a threat. A we're not a threat. Fascist. In this case, you take again, again, you're absolutely entitled to your opinion. Okay. 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 For others in the county to run into someone with COVID-19 infection. Um, there are, it's not just our county that's bringing more people on. There are going to be thousands of, of people hired who will be these contact investigators throughout the state. And this is occurring in many, many other states as well, perhaps all of the states in our country. Um, we will be giving intensive training to these people, training not only for identifying and finding contacts, but also in terms of how to be sensitive about doing it. There's no other way to look at it. Again, I'll explain it one last time. I, I beg of you that you accompany us. You come at night without, like a without, thief. Without anything turning physical. Right, I beg right. you that you company willing. You are a thief. Okay. You are. Again, we're not, we're not here thieves. to get into a debate. We're not here to get into a name call. Okay. And you're poor people. I'm an unbiased source and I'm doing this strictly for the concern of your safety. And that's why I hope that you... Are we swear to anyone? Let me well, please. Just some advice. The easier that things go right now, the easier things can go at the hospital. I'm not asking you to agree with me. I'm not asking not, you to agree. You are not authority to us. Okay, and I understand that. We also realize that as we find more contacts, some of the people we find are going to have trouble being isolated. For instance, if they live in a home where there's only one bathroom and there are three or four other people living there and those people don't have COVID infection, we're not going to be able to keep the person in that home. Every person who we're isolating, for instance, needs to have uh, their own bathroom. And so we'll be moving people like this into other kinds of housing that we have available. That's your opinion. No. But I have, but I have Roger. No, don't, don't touch him. Don't, don't. Oh. Lay down. Lay down. Lay down.
no matter what. No matter what. Don't touch him. Just don't pet him. No. But as a mental health worker, I'm not a mental health worker. I don't know your dog. I don't know you guys. Is there any way out of courtesy, like the officer said earlier, that we can put the dog just so make sure nobody gets hurt here? I don't want to get bit. I don't want something to happen. I don't want something to happen to the dog. Out of courtesy, can we put it in a room so we can have a conversation? Okay. So, I, I, Did I, you put it? Okay, yeah, thank you. It. Thank you, sir. I okay. appreciate that, though. Thank you. Thank you. That was my concern. Yeah. yeah. What do you do? Okay, it's just in the bathroom for now, just so we get things sorted out. Listen, guys, I understand that you don't want to go, okay? I completely respect that. It's up to you what happens. You're going to have to go to the hospital. Then you talk to the doctor, and they make a decision, okay? We don't want to get hurt. You don't want to get hurt. Your dog's safe right now, okay? So once you're in a cruiser, if you decide you want the tenants downstairs to look after the dog, that's fine. We'll, we'll talk about that, okay? But for now, you have to get up. We'll have to go to the cruiser, okay? And you have to go down and talk to the dog. Let's see. I, I respect your opinion, sir, okay? I really do. It's a universal truth. Okay. You're a liar. You're a hypocrite. Okay. Do you understand that, though? Do you understand where we're coming from? We have no discretion here whatsoever. We don't want to get hurt. We don't you, want you to get hurt. Are you a robot? I am not, sir. Like my partner said, we're you not going to discuss that. You are. So it's up to you. We can't be here for the next half an hour discussing this, okay? We need to get down to the hospital. The sooner we get down there, the sooner you can talk to the doctor, and the doctor can make a decision. See, okay? I'm I'm innocent. So... She is innocent. You're not being charged with any crime, sir. I was going to say, this has nothing to do with any type of criminal. in us. Can I explain Go something? Go to some kind of doctor. This has nothing to do with your standpoint, your beliefs, what's going on with your, 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 um, your standpoint with the government, your You're taxes. You're forcing our it has body nothing to, do with any to of move somewhere is already force. Yes. We are. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. We are. We agree. We are. Against our but will. We don't want to have to physically force you, okay? I don't have, have to listen to you. Well, you do, sir, because otherwise no. we have to go hands on. No. We have to handcuff because, you and put you back for a cruise. Because you are not my authority. Because not, you're not our authority. Our authority is God. We're acting under our authority, okay? I don't care. And I respect that you don't understand. You I don't care. that authority. I don't care. But we do have that authority, I don't care. okay? So who wants to go first? I don't care. Do you have to choose to I don't know if you choose on him. I think you got four flops, but. So this is going to happen, folks, but it's just a matter of how you, how you, you want to go barefoot? Okay. Can you stand up, please, sir? Wherever you want. Can you stand up, please? No. Come on. You have to stand up. Can you stand up, please? No. Please do this. I beg of you one last time I'm going to ask you. Stand up on your own. Just put your hands behind your back, please. Thank you. We are sick people. I just did this a you know, long time ago, and a uh, long time ago there were sick people that were brothers and sisters. And, uh, is that okay? Is that too tight? Ma'am, would you like a bag or anything? Would you like a sauce and flip flops for later? Well, this is just a very old way for this. You, can you stay, stay still on the lock? You do what you guys want to do about the dog. You will pay for this. Leave him home. Okay, so once we're ready to leave, I'll just open the bathroom door and then. Okay. You understand? We have to act. We have to act. We have no discretion. If anyone was a human. Joe, this case is possible. When it comes to this job, I guess not. If we were to ignore that. Do you want to put your flip flops on to go to the cruiser? No. And then you want to put it on? Yeah, that's probably best, yeah. Okay, so we'll wait till you get inside. Okay. okay, if we ignore that, we would be held accountable. Because that's right, we've sworn, right. we sworn to do this. But then, right. but then you would know it was your soul. Right now, no. sir, sure. would, sir, would you like to put your flip flops on to walk in the car? Wait, no. Wait, no? Okay. okay. Yeah. We'll take off, come back in, and then we'll just wait. Oh, yeah. I'm going to put your I'm going to put your I'm going to put your clothes on. All right. All right. Your shoes you're going to want to put on there? No. No? Okay. I apologize that this is part of this, okay? Like, we're just, uh, we're just doing what we have to do, okay? I realize you don't agree with it, but we really just didn't want anyone to get hurt, okay? Unbelievable. They'll also have other needs, perhaps food, whatever it's going to be. The county will be there to back them up and to support them. Um, 
And you know what I, I, I showed you the other day. I, I showed you exactly how they were going to carry it out. For those of you who are, you know, new to the channel. And you don't know. Uh, I have on here his face and everything. I say it's imperative that you get in touch with him and let, let him know you do not want this. Yes, in violation of our uh, U.S. Constitution and our Fourth Amendment rights. Yep. It's a violation. It definitely is a violation, but they are going to do it. They're going to use this as a way to get in your home because they're doing it all over the world, not just here. They're doing it all over the world because we have a foreign power that is in charge of our laws. In this way, they can mark their own and single out their enemies. Remember, they also attempted to introduce the digital dollar as part of legislation meant to shore up the U.S. economy during the coronavirus pandemic. The B system that will use your DNA as a form of biometric identification as part of the mark of the beast 666 which will allow you to buy and sell and to be part of the new norm that society is headed for in the new world order only linked to the coronavirus 